This is the Hamper Helper. It is our prototype that we've been working on this semester. It is a laundry detergent dispenser that mounts to the wall and when mounted will dispense accurate and efficient amounts of laundry detergent to the customer every single time. This is the QFD. A QFD shows the customer needs on this side and the specifications that the team decided on based upon the customer needs. The needs that we gained through customer interviews were that the product had to be reasonably priced, had to reduce waste, had to be easy to use and maintain, had to have high efficiency and be visually appealing. Based on those needs, we decided upon the specifications that follow. Total mass, load quantity, access to internals, battery life, time to dispense, and accurate quantities. The matrix here shows numbers one through five in each of the boxes that line up between the two, ne the need and the specification. If it's a five, it is complete correlation between the two. So there's a five here. There's complete correlation between being easy to use and maintain and the access to internals, because if you can't get inside the product, then you can't maintain it. These are the six designs that we came up with based upon three different aspects. We thought of variations in user input, way of energy, and the method of dispensing. Each of these designs is a combination of these. So for user input, we thought that there could either be buttons, a switch, a dimmer switch, or a motion sensor. A motion sensor would be to press a button, wave your hand in front of it, and it would dispense for you. Buttons you choose either small, medium, or large. A switch you switch between small, medium, or large, or a dimmer switch for somewhere in the middle. We didn't think the motion sensor was reasonable, and we didn't think the dimmer switch would be all that useful either, so we eliminated both of those fairly easily. And then we were stuck between battery and wall plug-in for terms of power, because batteries might not last as long, but might be easier to use, and a wall plug-in might be not energy efficient enough. But for method of dispense, we were between pressure ejection, a valve, which would be gravity fed, or a scoop. We immediately eliminated the scoop as it is kind of off the wall. It basically has two pulleys at the top. The front pulley lifts it up and down and the back pulley tilts the scoop. So it would go down, scoop some detergent, come up and tilt it forward. So basically we came down to our design being batteries, uh, ball valve and gravity fed, and buttons, because buttons, easy to choose for the customer, ball valve, and gravity being cheaper than pressure, and, excuse me, I'm sorry, and batteries because easier to wire than plugging into a wall. These are the patents that we found that were similar to our product. This is a motor. This motor would be more efficient than the servo motor we are using. So it would be nice to be able to get that into our product. The second uh, item is a quick release valve, which would be more efficient than the ball valve we are using because it releases faster and opens fully quicker. So it would allow more accurate amounts going to the customer every single time. The fourth one on the far right is a button. It shows all the components that go into the button between the top and where it receives the recognition that some, the button is pressed. And the bottom here is a seal, a watertight seal, which we could use in the edges of our prototype to keep the laundry detergent in the product and not on the floor of the laundry room for the customer. This is our failure modes and effects analysis. The four items that we felt were the biggest components of our product was the valve, the container, the wiring, and the buttons. And for each of these, we attempted to distinguish which failure would be most common for each of these items individually. So for the valve, we thought the most common failure would be a clog, and that could be from a, an obstruction or not enough maintenance to it. So our recommended action is to either remove the obstruction or to call for maintenance. Our second item, the container, we thought that the welding could be getting worse or not welded well enough and it could leak and this could be make a mess and be toxic so it could be toxic to animals or children and that could be because the item was not sealed well 
and our recommended action is to clean it up and to call poison control. For the wiring, we thought an electronic failure would be most common, and that would just mean the whole product does not work, and it could be to, to a loose connection or to wear over time, and we recommend to check the battery life, and if that doesn't help, call for maintenance. For the buttons, it could be a hardware failure, and that would just mean the buttons aren't working, even though the product is still good, and this could be to wear or from overuse, and our recommended action is to either buy a new product or to call for maintenance. Our bill of materials, this list here shows each material we use in our prototype. We used sheet metal, a servo motor, a half inch ball valve, an Arduino controller, and wiring and buttons. And the cost of each of these respectively is the sheet metal is $22, the servo motor was $10, the half inch ball valve was $2, the Arduino was $15 and the wiring buttons were $2. So we expect the entirety of the product when each of these are purchased individually to cost about $50. But had they been purchased in bulk and produced in bulk and shipped in bulk, we could bring the price down tremendously. And that would basically mean with 150% return, the customers could expect to pay about $45 to $50 for our product if we market it the way we plan. This is our CAD design. Here is the whole prototype put together. The top section is where the laundry detergent goes. It is a watertight container. Laundry detergent stays inside it. There's a second section down here completely separate from the container. There's the buttons on the front. Behind there is the ball valve, which connects between the top container and below the second container. To the right of the ball valve would be the servo motor, which turns the knob of the ball valve. And on the other side of the of the ball valve would be the Arduino controller. The middle picture here shows the top, front, and side views of our prototype with dimensions. When designing this, we did attempt to match the dimensions as well as we could. It's kind of hard to when you're designing it out of sheet metal by hand and not by machine, so we're not as precise as we could be, but overall we came pretty close and we designed it with these specific dimensions to maximize volume while minimizing weight so the user can handle it and put it up themselves. And the far picture over here shows what the container would look like had it been unfolded at each of these hinges. So it would be unfolded and it also shows the dimensions for each of those. This is a picture of our final prototype. Here is the container, the second section with the ball valve. The ball valve would be turned 90 degrees, attached to the servo. The servo would be on this side and the Arduino would be on this side. We ran into issues in terms of only being able to get a half inch ball valve because we wanted to get smaller, one it would be more accurate, and two the knob would be easier to turn. But since this knob was very hard to turn and our servo motor was not powerful enough, we could not get it put together in time. So we made the code and we hooked it to the servo and showed how the servo turns a certain amount of degrees and for a certain amount of time which varies between small, medium, and large, so more detergent or less detergent comes out at a time. Had we had more time slash more money, we would have attempted to get a Arduino microcontroller, which would fit much more easily in this container, and we would attempt to get a smaller ball valve and a larger servo, a more powerful servo. This would allow us to really... I'm sorry, excuse me. This would allow us to bring down the size quite a bit and not have such a large item for the customer so it would be easier to maintain and easier to handle but overall the user input from small medium and large from the buttons that would be here had this been covered which it would be that sends a message to the Arduino the Arduino sends a message to the servo tells it how long to spin and how fast this is attached to the ball valve knob that spins the ball valve knob, which opens the valve, which releases the detergent, and then it closes on its own, and it releases into a cup down here, and then you pour it into your washer, and you do your laundry. But that is basically it. Thank you.